Hey everybody, welcome to Rider Skills. I'm Neil, this is the channel for motorbike safety advice and riding tips. Riding in wet conditions, in the rain, I've seen it pop up on a couple of forums. I discovered Reddit this week. I don't know where I've been. But anyway, people are asking, how do you ride in the rain? And of course, I've been riding a lot of years, so I just take it for granted. And actually, I love, and I've said this before, I love riding in the rain. It sharpens the skills. And I've also mentioned previously, to ride a motorcycle well, you need to use finesse and be delicate and that's in all conditions you look at the fastest road races in the world take you to the Isle of Man and all these riders the best ones were the smoothest and it's all about riding smooth picking the best line not just the best line but the safest line and the route that will make you less at risk of coming a cropper and it's things like that you see there i've missed every white line while i'm banked over I'll do it again here now the thing is you have you have you've got two tires we've gone through this before contact patch the size of the palm of your hand this makes it sound like there's no grip there's plenty and there's there's quite a lot in all conditions as long as you're aware of the limitations of lean angle and traction but i'll bet none of us get actually get that close to the limits of our bikes and the capabilities they've got in everyday, in everyday use. Your, your tyre manufacturers have put millions of dollars and pounds and dollars and yen into the, the research of their tyres. And you can imagine, if their tyres are no good and they're proven to be negligent, they're sued. And if they claim that their tyres are good in the wet, and they all do, and they turn out to be crap and the science backs that up, they're shafted. Their business is gone. Be it Dunlop, Michelin, whoever. Bridgeton, Metzler. So these tyres are bloody good on any bike. Better than we are, I argue. Most of us. Just trust in the technology at some stage. You've got to understand that there's a lot gone into your rubber a lot of technology and it's damn good so that's the first bit of my little talk about riding in inclement weather conditions today it's wet it's stopped raining so it's quite good for the video in relation to not fogging up my lenses however we've still got a slippery surface compared to dry which is fine so do a little bit of filtering can i sneak down that gap i probably can i'm not going to do job chatting tire pressures gone through this before i've got my digital tire pressure monitor here important get them right so what do we do on a right hand bend like this we make sure we're not banking over on white lines because they're slippery as hell especially in the wet I've said that before And everything has to be done gingerly. What I'm talking about is leaving that twice as much gap in front of you as you normally would. And looking ahead, you've got to brake earlier. You've got to, like in any situation when you're on your bike, you've got to look ahead. You've got to double it up in the rain. You've got to trust nobody. I'm coming around here. I'm looking around that bend already. 
I know that the lights are red because I can see the ones going left to right and right to left are green. So I'm already slowing up. I'm already backing the car up behind me because he's also got less traction. But I'm thinking ahead. I'm reading the potential for people to change lanes in front of me. And at that stage, I've hardly touched my brakes. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about just rolling out a little bit more finesse into your riding. And at that point now, I'm just going to ease on. So I don't have to accelerate hard. I don't want to be braking hard. Everything has got to be smooth and smoother than normal. Situation there. Just watching that he wasn't going to change lanes because this truck was turning right. Now here we go. I've got red lights in front, I've got nobody behind me, I've got a slippery wet surface, I've got mud and crap in the kerb there. See that? Didn't touch the brakes. And I'm not accelerating hard, I'm having a good look at the junction, making sure my way ahead is clear and safe to go. Quick shoulder check there, make sure nobody's coming out of that slip road. And onwards.